In this video, we are going to present our 2D 3D registration workflow for registering CTs to intraoperative fluoroscopic images, for instance. At the very beginning, we need to load the data, of course. Here, our software comes with a broad variety of supported formats, including DICOM. Next, we need to set up the geometry of the shots. These can be either read directly from DICOM text or be added through a calibration step. For the purpose of this demo, we are going to work with simulated data, which was simulated from a publicly available CT dataset. For the 2D, 3D registration, usually a good initialization is key. This is the post from which the optimization starts. In our software, we currently support three different initialization methods out of the box. The first one is manual initialization. Here you can position the CT volume in order to match the intraoperative X-ray images. The next option is based on key points and directions. You can use an arrow annotation in order to annotate a key point and a direction. For instance, you want to mark a specific point and define the up direction. You do this in all shots and in the CT. Based on triangulation, we then compute the initialization. The last option is key point based initialization. Here the user selects matching key points in the X-ray shots as well as the CT. From these points, then an initial pose is computed. For customers of our SDK, we also offer the possibility to implement their own initializations based on a specific interface. This enables the user to specifically tailor the initialization to a specific use case. In the scope of this demo, we are going to show you the key point based initialization. In order to obtain a unique solution, the user needs to select at least three matching key points in each shot as well as the CT. In addition to the initial transformation, we also set up a cropping mask based on the key points the user selected in order to focus the image-based registration to the most relevant anatomic structures. Of course, this mask can be edited by the user to perfectly fit the current anatomy. In our example, this is a single vertebral body. Blending back and forth between the DRR and the actual X-ray image, in our case also DRR because we work with simulated data, lets the user investigate the current quality of the registration. Our software natively supports different blending schemes. Now it is time to run the actual image-based registration. This is an optimization over the transformation between the CT and the isocenter of these shots. Throughout this optimization, for each new transformation, we generate a simulated X-ray image, which is then compared to the actual shot. As registration result, the transformation with the very best simulated X-ray is chosen. Both the generation of the simulated X-rays as well as the computation of the similarity is GPU accelerated. In addition to regular cone beam X-ray systems, we also support images coming from the EOS system, which is a full body biplane X-ray system. In the video description, you can find a link to a scientific publication where our 2D 3D registration in combination with the EOS system was used. In summary, our software provides a fast GPU accelerated image-based 2D 3D registration between CT and X-ray images. We already support various X-ray images in DICOM format, for instance, and also the EOS system. Robust initialization is supported, for instance, by using keypoint-based initialization, and it can also be extended via our SDK. Please reach out to us in case you want to know more about our software.